one cool thing yesterday, we learned the order of the triangles. Remember, the smallest side was opposite from the smallest angle. The medium side was opposite from the medium angle, and the largest side was opposite to the largest angle. Now we're going to start looking at isosceles and equilateral triangles. Now in isosceles, two angles are equal. We're going to call those the base angles. You can see the angles that are equal. They have the little arc. You guys see those on number 19. Now, what I'm going to say is, again, these two angles, let me emphasize, those two angles are equal. Because two angles are equal, two sides are equal. Now, one thing I want to do real quick. Notice how this angle, let me call it blue, is opposite to this side. But then, I'm going to go in green. This angle is opposite to this side. Now, because I said those two angles are equal, shouldn't I assume that the two sides are equal? Pretty much. Pretty much. If two angles are equal, two sides are equal. Find the two angles that are equal. Find the two sides that are opposite to the angles that you have. Like I did, you guys see my blue angle and I found my blue side. I found my green angle and I find my green side. Because those two angles are equal, those two sides are equal. So the way I'm going to solve for x, because it says find the value of x, let me let those two sides equal each other. So 7 is equal to x minus 3. They're equal. The rest is just algebra. Let me separate them through the equal sign. I want x by itself. So this minus 3, I'm going to move it to the other side as a plus 3. Remember, your algebra teacher said in opposite operations. My goal was to get the x by itself, which I do. I have On the right side, I have the x by itself. On the left side, 7 plus 3, I know that's 10. So when it says find the value of x, 10 is equal to x or x is equal to 10. So cool, I found 10. That's the value of x. Same thing with number 20. I have two angles that are equal. So let me see. I have one blue angle. Let me call this angle blue. And I know this side is opposite to my blue angle. And in green, this angle is opposite to this side. Because those two angles are equal, those two sides are equal. So for me to solve for x, I'm going to go x plus 16 is equal to 9. Right, let me separate them through the equal sign. My plus 16, let me move it over as a minus 16. So I get that x is equal to 9 minus 16 is negative 7. Now, this is what we call the isosceles triangle. Two sides are equal, two angles are equal you're going to run into equilateral triangles, right? All three angles are equal. So guess what? All three sides are equal as well. You're, running, you're going to run into those in, the, in your homework. Now, looking at number 21, I'm going to say the measurement of angle 2 is x plus 98. All right, so there's a 2 here. Let me replace that 2 with x plus 98. Now, I'm solving for x. Now, interesting here, though, is that you see the slashes on my sides? I have two sides that are equal. So that means there's going to be two angles that are equal. OK, so let's see. Let me identify. This side is opposite to this angle. And in green, let me go this side is opposite to this angle, kind of like how we did in the previous question. Remember, when the angles were equal, the sides were equal. So same thing here. When the sides are equal, I want to say those two angles are equal. So having that said, I'm going to say this green angle is 47. The two angles that I marked are equal. So that's why I know that's 47. But then I look at a triangle. There's a triangle there. And I just learned a couple of days ago that the three angles of a triangle always add up to 180. 
Having that said, I'm gonna go X plus 98 plus 47 plus 47. I added the three angles of a triangle and this is equal to 180. All right, I can solve for X. Separate them through the equal sign. Letter wise, I just have an X. Number wise, 98 plus 47 plus 47, I know that's 192. And I know all this is equal to 180. I just combine my like terms on the left side. I want x by itself, so I want to cancel that 192. And I can, as long as I write it on the other side as a minus 192, opposite sign. So I get x equals 180 minus 192 gives me negative 12. It's okay for x to be negative. I have to solve for x. x equals negative 12. All right, let's take a look at number 22. To begin with, measurement of angle 2 is x plus 47. So let me cross this 2 here. And let me call this corner, let me call it x plus 47. And then I see two sides are equal. So I'm going to say this side, I'm looking at the two sides that have this slash, that side is opposite to this angle. And this side is opposite to this angle. The two angles that I just marked are equal. Because the two sides are equal, those two angles are going to be equal. Therefore, I have that x plus 47 equals 39. Right, those two angles are equal. And the rest is just algebra. Let me separate them to the equal sign. The plus 47, because I want the x by itself, the plus 47, let me cancel it out. I'm going to move it to the other side as a minus 47, right, opposite signs. So I get that x is equal to, now 39 minus 47, I know it's negative eight. x equals negative eight. One thing I want you guys to keep in mind, sometimes, looking at question number 21, sometimes you're gonna use all three angles of a triangle. Sometimes you're only gonna use two angles. So look for the sides that are equal. Based on that, you're going to find out which two angles are equal. If you have all three angles, like I did in number 21, then you remember, add everything and equals to 180. If you only have the two angles that are equal, like I did in number 22, let them equal each other. X plus 47 equals 39. All right, let's take a look at question number 23. I'm doing up until, oh, just 22 for today. Just, mm, actually, no, I'm doing up until number 26. All right, so let's take a look at number 23. To begin with, measurement of angle 2 is x plus 71. So this 2, let me change this for x plus 71. Notice how all the sides are equal. I'm following the slashes. Notice, I, let me highlight the slashes. All three sides have a slash. So all three sides are equal. That means all three angles are equal. Okay, so what do I mean with that? Okay, let's say this side is opposite to this angle. And in green, let's say this side is opposite to this angle. And obviously, the third side is opposite to the third angle. There, all the sides are equal. So that means all the angles are equal. So I'm just going to say x plus 71, it's equal to 60. The rest is just algebra. The plus 71, let me move it over as a minus 71, opposite sign. So I get that x is equal to negative 11. Let's take a look at number 24. 
measurement of angle two is equal to x plus 60. So this two, let me change this for x plus 60. I notice there's only two sides that are equal. You guys see the two slashes. So that means only two angles that are equal. Okay, let's see. This side is opposite to this angle. This side is opposite to this angle. Those two sides are equal. That means that those two angles are equal. So I'm gonna say that green angle is X plus 60. Because the two angles that I marked are equal. Okay, so now I have all three angles of my triangle. So let me add everything. X plus 60 plus X plus 60 plus 74. Notice I added my three angles. I know that three angles of a triangle always add up to 180. So I'm going to say this is equal to 180. All right. Let me separate them to the equal sign. The left side, there's too many things. Let me condense it. Let me make this smaller. When it comes to letters, 1x plus 1x, that is 2x. When it comes to just numbers, 60 plus 60 plus 74, that's 194. And I have that this is 180. Right, I just made the, the left side a little bit smaller, condense it. I want the 2x by itself. So the 194, the plus 194, let me cancel it as long as I write it on the other side as a minus 194. So I get that 2x is equal to negative 14. All right, 180 minus 194, that gave me negative 14. Now let me divide by two because I want the x by itself. X equals negative seven. Negative 14 divided by two is negative seven. Pretty cool, huh? Let's, let's do two more questions. Let's take a look at number 25. To begin with, measurement of angle two. So right here where the two is, I'm gonna replace that with X plus 109. Let me write that out here, X plus 109. That is this angle. All right, I see two sides are equal. So I'm gonna say, uh, let's do blue. This side is opposite to this angle. And this side is opposite to this angle. Those two sides that I marked are equal. So those two angles must be equal. The green angle is 40. So I'm gonna say the blue angle is gonna be 40 as well, because those two angles are equal. Now I have all three angles of a triangle. So let me add everything. 40 plus 40 plus X plus 109 equals 180. Let me write my X a little better. I added the three angles of my triangle and it is equal to 180. Let me separate them through the equal sign. When it comes to letters, I just have X. When it comes to numbers, 40 plus 40 plus 109, that is 189. And I know all this is equal to 180. Okay. I want the X by itself, so let me just cancel the plus 189 as long as I write it on the other side with opposite sign. If I get that X equals 180 minus 189, that gives me a negative nine. Intentionally, I'm writing X to be negative a lot because I don't want you to be afraid of negatives. Now, it is not always a negative answer though. So sometimes it is a negative. X sometimes is a negative, but not always. All right, let's take a look at number 26. Measurement of angle two is 80 plus X. So this two, let me replace it with 80 plus X. Okay. I see two sides that are equal, right? Two sides have a slash. So let's see. This side is opposite to this angle. This side is opposite to this angle. Now those two sides are equal. So those two angles that I just marked, 
are also equal. So the blue angle, I'm going to say it's 80 plus X. Okay, I have all three angles now, so I'm just going to add everything. 80 plus X plus 40 plus 80 plus X. I added the three angles. In this case, it is equal to 180. All right, let me separate them through the equal side. The left side, let me condense it. Let me make it less things. So 1X plus 1X, I'm going to call that 2X. Number-wise, 80 plus 40 plus 80, I'm going to call that 200. And I know all this is equal to 180. I want the 2X by itself. So the plus 200, let me cancel it, as long as I write it on the other side as a minus 200. So I get that 2X is equal to negative 20. Right, 180 minus 200 is negative 20. Let me divide both sides by two. Negative 20 divided by two is a negative 10. So X equals negative 10. Pretty cool. Let me zoom out. That's all we did today.